Welcome back to Barrel and Grain. Tonight, I got something super special. So, this is Angel Envy Calf Strength. So, first time I've ever seen this in my area, at least. Um, comes in a beautiful box, and it was actually mixed in with the tequila, with all the crazy ceramic bottles and all the other stuff that tequila is known for. So, luckily, this was hidden in the back. So, as you can see, this thing is amazing. The artwork on this thing is absolutely crazy. I mean, the box alone, it was expensive. So, but you can see magnetic and everything. Beautiful box. So, super great marketing. Um, definitely not cheap <laughs> bottle and box. Uh, this is a little bit higher on the price side. You can be looking at roughly two to three hundred, depending on your area. Um, company comes with whole tasting notes everything so tonight i'm gonna see how well this stacks up to what the manufacturer actually says it's supposed to taste like so it was distilled obviously at the angels Envy distillery bottling year was 2022 it's just released this past year appearance very dark amber red seems very fitting uh nose begins with hints of leather brown sugar caramel Followed by cream brulee, marshmallow, green apple, and citrus orange. Well, it seems like a lot. So this awesome, awesome sorry, <laughs> my words there. This obviously is obviously very, very complex. On the nose, the first thing I definitely do get is green apple. I definitely get the green apple, a little bit of citrus orange. I can see how they get that. The hints of leather. Not really. I don't really get the hints of leather. Usually the hints of leather kind of go with an older type bourbon. I mean, this is finished in port. Uh, it's coming in at 119.8 proof. So that's cast strength for Angel's Envy. In which I do kind of want to compare this to uh, one of their normal lineup, Angel's Envy, port finish. But I actually do not have any at the moment. So I've actually drank a few of these and I haven't actually replenished in a while because I've kind of gotten other things, tried a lot of other stuff, and um, but it is very good. Uh, even being, I think this is like right on their 90 proofer that comes out. Man, maybe a slight bit of the leather cream boulet. I do not get it, could be other people. And the marshmallow, it's gotta be kind of hidden in there. I guess kind of along with the cream boulet, if you get the one, you probably get the marshmallow. And the brown sugar and caramel, I can kind of see how you kind of get that, though. So, that's the nose from what the distillery says. The palate itself says apples, caramel, brown sugar. The creaminess pairs with the orange from the nose, creating a dessert-like richness, vanilla, toasted oak, and black pepper spice. So, sweet and spicy is what I'm getting out of this. Let's find out if that's the case. So, the peppery spice might be some of it from the, the actual strength of the alcohol. And I actually did get to crack this open with a friend over this past weekend. And it did not drink at 119 proof. Even uh, as my friend tried it, I said the same thing. doesn't feel like 119. Try to get a little bit more here. Get the palate going. First drink of the day. That's a strong one. I do get the apples, caramel, and brown sugar. First three, spot on. Dessert-like richness, that would definitely be the port. Port and the sweetness, it's there. It doesn't completely overhide the bourbon. It wraps it up at the end there very nicely. If you're a person who likes finished bourbons and you like the port finish, port's usually pretty sweet. Um, definitely a great dessert bourbon. This would go great at the end of a meal. And the nose is still super sweet. Mm. 
Now for the finish. The finish is decently a medium long finish. Their notes though, from the distillery, slight fruitiness with a grape tannic notes with lingering spice. This one I think they hit spot on. There's definitely the fruitiness. The port kicks in at the very end. And you can really, it just lingers around. The grape tannic notes are absolutely there. I get them strongly, especially because of the port finish. And the lingering spice, I think it's definitely because obviously it's 119 proof. You do get the little of the pepperiness, I guess. It's, I think a lot of it's the ethanol kicking in because it is a, almost 120, 119.8, so close enough to 120. Um, it is absolutely almost everything they say it is. What would I give this? I would probably give this about eight and a half, I would say, because it is a finished bourbon. It says that everything it can is my favorite. Uh, it's probably up there in probably the top three or so. Very good. Uh, Price-wise, you get what you pay for. It's really limited. The uh, first time I've actually personally seen one of these boxes sitting around, and it was the only box I've seen sitting there. So unless you live in Kentucky, and you might see them more often, maybe in that area, in the area I live in, which is on the East Coast, not very often. You can even see on the back of this thing, beautiful wings. Curious is, once you kill this bottle, what are you going to do with the box? I mean, because this is definitely a box you want to repurpose. You can see the effort and everything, and engraving and all that in there. Absolutely beautiful. The box alone is probably like 40 bucks of the cost. But overall, I think I would definitely stick with my score. Very, very good bourbon. I know some people have this probably in their top 10 for 2022, probably even up in their top five. If you can get a hold of this and you are into finished bourbons, you're going to absolutely like this one because this is definitely a winner when it comes to that category. So overall, good bourbon. Thanks for stopping in. Hope to see you again. Leave comments. If you guys have had this, I'd love to hear how you guys have enjoyed this. Or maybe you didn't enjoy it. Maybe, you know, I mean, this is just not your thing. Or maybe you had it at a bar and you're like, wish I could find one. Or maybe I'll never buy that one. I'd like to how see how everybody else fared with it. But that's my personal notes. That's how I thought about it and how I felt when I tasted it. So, please comment if you can. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and keep hunting.